So I want to talk quickly about the two Navy SEAL story. And so if you haven't heard, 10 days ago or maybe a couple of weeks ago before that, who knows when it exactly started, uh, it came out in the news a couple, a couple of weeks ago. But basically, two Navy SEALs were missing off the coast of Somalia. And so a lot of people have been chiming in, like if you're going to, you know, do a mission, you're getting on a, a ship and, you know, you're climbing this, this boat, you could fall off. And then one person basically dives in to go after the other person, supposedly, and it was in pitch black darkness and, you know, blah, 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 right? So they've been missing for 10 days. They've been trying to find them. And who knows when the story broke earlier in the sense that they were saying that these people were missing off the coast of Somalia. And so I want to take a quick step back because what you have to realize in a time of war, in a time of covert operations, special forces, all that stuff, if you watch any, you know, movie or whatever, you know, spy thriller, uh, those kinds of things, you would know that you can't just go out and declare to the world what you're doing, what your secret op was, what your mission was. Why is it that these people were supposedly in Somalia or in or off the coast of Somalia or anywhere else? You can't just tell everybody because it ruins the secrecy, the covertness, the black ops aspect of the mission. And so what I'm here to say is that going forward and also with this story, and I'm not saying this is like uh, wrong or, or rather it's a fake story or it's not believable. I'm not saying that there could have very well have been a truthful, like to the T that they're saying of what happened in Somalia. But you have to realize that some stories are cover stories. And there was a guy I'll never forget. There was, uh, they were talking about, uh, I think some helicopter crash off the coast of Alaska or something on a training mission. And the person was saying, that whenever there is some kind of training accident and there's, you know, five, six, seven people that died on that helicopter and you can't find the wreckage of the helicopter, what really uh, is, has happened is that they were on some secret mission and there's a cover story to say that they died in a training mission so that they don't reveal themselves and the nature of their operations, whether they are Navy SEAL or whether, uh, whether there's some kind of off the books, black ops, crazy, you know, one of those Jason Bourne type of stories in the modern day sense, in the realistic sense. And that exists. It's not just Navy SEALs going off, doing the top work. There are 007, right? Jason Bourne type of secret agent assets that are out there doing this type of work. And they are, in some sense, saving the world, right? Uh, crimes against humanity, all that stuff that we're hearing. So I'm saying this because as we go forward, you're going to see more missions and there's, there's going to naturally be casualties and deaths and even accidents, but don't believe, right? Without proof, like they're saying this stuff, but where's the evidence in the sense that there's pictures, there's you know bodies and all that stuff. Th these two people were quote unquote missing and they couldn't find their bodies and it was in Somalia, and everybody is saying, believe us, believe us, this is the story. The media is running with it. Uh, you know, now the administration, all these people, they're saying stuff about it, but who knows if that's the true story. And so don't, again, the, the bigger message I've been teaching or preaching, warning people about in these end times is that they're going to say things, there's going to be news, and you can't just take things at face value. There's more to it than meets the eye. Now, again, I'm not dis discounting this. I'm not saying that this is not happening. I'm just slightly skeptical and I'm being cautious about how I receive information. And if it is true that these two people are gone, it could just be a cover story for something else that they did, probably, you know, maybe heroic in a sense of some kind of alternate mission that we don't know about. And so I'm saying this because as more of this stuff comes out, stop you know, taking it hook, line, and sinker and thinking this is what it is, but just table it, put it to the side and say, okay, that could be it or it could be something else. It could be that it was a secret mission and they just can't talk about it. They have to write it off as a training accident or as a mission accident. And they're trying to, and even if this was a true thing or not, they're putting the attention in an area so, such that it's not just for us. It's not about the American citizens receiving the news. It's about possibly a story, you know, a scare tactic to the other people in that area saying that Navy SEALs are guarding this place or it's taking attention away from something else. It's a distraction, a red flag 
It's some kind of a diversion tactic, whatever it is. There's multiple things and somebody in the military is signing off like, okay, uh, leak this news and tell CNN and the New York Times, uh, NPR to, to leak this story. That's, how we're, that's what we're, we're going to go with. And they do it. And that's how it disseminates. And then more than the majority of the, of the population, they're, go they're going to believe what NPR and AP News and ABC News, what they say, because this is how it's being projected top down. But the truth can be different. And so we have to exercise this muscle when you hear something and you think, okay, what is the Holy Spirit telling me? Is this something I'm at peace with and I'm resonating with that uh, truth as it comes out of their mouth? Or is it something else? And I'm not really sure what it is, but it just seems off and there's more than meets the eye. When we get to that level of discernment, then you can take things at face value if the Holy Spirit uh, confirms it for you. Or you can be skeptical, you can put it to the side, table it, and, and just pass it off and say, okay, there's something more, we'll have to wait, we'll see how this turns out, and then you proceed with life. So I'm saying this because it's indicative of a bigger issue in that, yes, there's stuff going on behind the scenes. Yes, if you think about it uh, logically, rationally, a top secret military operation, they're not gonna just divulge information, but there's other things going on because we live in a psyops generation, fifth dimensional warfare. So be cognizant of what's happening in that sense. So love you guys. Be encouraged. More to come. It's exciting times. Talk to you guys very soon.